What's going on everybody, it's Jazzy TV, and the long anticipated wait is over. I wanted to make this video all day, but I had to wait till I got home. I worked all day, had to go help my grandpa and install some doorbell thing. Uh, so I'm finally home. And the first thing I'm doing is making this video because I love you guys. Um, so as all of you may know, Andy Dalton has torn ligaments in his throwing thumb, so his right thumb, and is out for the season. Now, whether or not Andy Dalton would have torn ligaments, I honestly think that the Bengals would have held him out for the year just because I just feel like that's the way kind of it would have worked out. Um, but I'm from Texas. Um, I love Andy Dalton to death. I've always been a fan of Andy Dalton. Um, and I hope he recovers well. Um, you never want to see somebody get hurt, especially your starting quarterback. Um, but, you know, that happens, and it's the next guy stepping up. And that guy is Jeff Driscoll. And you know what? He has a great name. You know why? Because my name's Jeff. So, right off the bat, Jeff Driscoll is the man. All right, so honestly, I'm so excited for Jeff Driscoll to start. He's getting his first NFL career start this Sunday against Denver. Um, honestly, you know, maybe this is something that can help spark the team. Now, we also did sign Tom Savage. Now, we usually carry two running backs on, the, in the, on our roster uh, for the Bengals. Um, so Tom Savage will be backing up Jeff Driscoll. Um, I honestly think if the Bengals are smart... They would start Jeff Driscoll like they're going to this weekend and just let him finish out the year. Um, you know, obviously, we saw a little bit of what Driscoll's been made of in preseason, but, you know, he played against some second and third stringers, um, you know, maybe some training camp here and there. Um, last week, a little bit, you know, you know, this mainly the second half against the Browns. Um, he made some mistakes. Um, but he does, you know, he, he did do some good, but you got to think if you got thrown in, you know, to a game and you haven't played an NFL game, you know, in that environment, you know, against any team, I mean, obviously anybody's going to be anxious and nervous. So for his first start, you know, maybe he'll settle down and, you know, some veteran guys around him are probably pumping him up all week this week. And overall, honestly, I'm just excited for him because, you know, I think this is a this is a really good thing. I think this change could possibly spark something in our team. Um, AJ Green should be back. There is no doubt in my mind that he should should not be playing or should be playing Sunday. However, you would say that. Um, he, you know, I, I don't understand why he would be held out. You know, two weeks ago, he was eighty five percent, and then we held him out Sunday. Like, what was he? 93% Marvin it wasn't 100 I'm sorry um, but obviously this is a must win game against Denver um, but yeah Jeff Driscoll man 6'4 you know 234 pounds played four years at University of Florida a fifth year senior um, played at Louisiana Tech and he had some amazing stats at Louisiana Tech before you know he came to the league uh, I think he had like over a little bit over 4,000 passing yards 27 TDs and I think nine interceptions at Louisiana Tech. So and obviously he, you know, he had some good and bad games at Florida, but that's an SEC school. So I mean, he played some some top tier teams. So you know he he understands what it's like to play some 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 top you know some top dogs. And um, I just think you know Driscoll overall, you know, I I think that he can really you know help the dynamic of this offense. You know, he's a younger quarterback. He's only 25. Um, he's tall. He can sling the ball. He's got a big arm. Um, and he is mobile. He is not afraid to run, and he is not afraid to take some big hits. Now, let's not take any big hits to get hurt, Jeff. Um, but overall, I, I think that, you know, I'm really, like, I think everybody should be excited to see and play because we finally get to see what he's made of. And we possibly get to see what he's made of for these last five games of the season. Maybe playoffs, maybe not, whatever. Um, but 
there's a huge possibility that Jeff Driscoll could be, you know, the Bengals starting quarterback next season, possibly franchise quarterback. I don't know. Anything can happen between now and next season. But with him being so young and Andy Dalton playing for so long, that this could be the end of Andy Dalton. We don't know. And this is where if Jeff Driscoll plays lights out or plays pretty damn good these last five games, that we may have him in the starting competition for the start of next season. So that's what a lot of, you know, people, you, you know, we got to think about as, you know, Houday fans, man, and Bengals fans. So, you know, I, I get it. You know, he's never played in an NFL game. So a lot of people maybe not be on the hype train, but I'm just hyped because this is, this is something that I think the change is good. Now, I hope I'm right. But it's just, we needed something to spark this team. And it's sad that it was an injury to Andy Dalton. But for a new young guy to get his chance, you know, maybe this is the spark we need. You know, maybe it's like a heroic spark story, you know. And, you know, so it's overall, I'm just, I'm, I'm honestly so excited. Because it's, it's nice to see what he's made of. Um, I know Andy Dalton will be there to help him with whatever he needs, you know, QB reads, whatever, but he's been learning. And so, you know, he just needs to go out there Sunday and just, you know, relax. And, you know, obviously you're going to be nervous your first start, but just relax, man, and just play your game. And um, the offense around them, man, you, they just need to pump him up and play with him. You know, act like he's been your starting quarterback all year. But... Jeff, we trust you, man. Hootie Nation is with you. We are so excited to have you. Let's go, baby. Jeff Driscoll for the win. Jazzy TV, peace.